Hello guys, it's Red, and uh, today I'm playing the uh, Days mod. I've been uh, playing this for a uh, couple weeks now, and uh, they're practically updating every two days, or three days. And um, it's an Arma 2 mod, and it's based on this whole province in which you, or country in which you play it in. Or is it called a province? I don't know. Um, it's about 225 square kilometers and it's been hit by a zombie infection now your role as a player is to survive this as long as possible Welcome back to Sketch Gaming on Sketch. Now in today's video, we are going to be covering the whole timeline of DayZ and seeing how much has changed over the last decade. There's actually no videos on YouTube that's gone through the whole journey this game's had, so you'll be surprised how different it looked when it was first released 11 years ago today. DayZ is one of my favourite survival games, so I'm excited to travel all the way back to when it was first released and see the foundations it was built on that made this one of the best survival games I've played. This is the evolution of DayZ. Now over here at Sketch Gaming, you could say I'm a fan of DayZ. <laughs> We're always live and creating DayZ content at least three times a week, so if you want to join and check us out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're new to my thing, don't forget to ring my goddamn ding. Alright, let's get into the video. <laughs> Some of you might not know, but DayZ wasn't always its own game. Back in 2009, it was actually a mod for a game called Arma 2 by Bohemia Interactive, a sequel to the original Arma game that came out in 2006. Now, I've never played any of the Arma games. Maybe some of you watching have played it, but on the 17th of June 2009, when Arma 2 was released, the developers allowed mods in-game to create their own world within DayZ. It must have been wild testing out all these tools in Arma 2. It must have been a developer wet dream, honestly. But Speaking of developers, meet Dean Hall. Hall served as a commissioned officer in the Royal New Zealand Air Force for five years. That's no joke, he did the real thing. In 2009, Hall re-enlisted in the New Zealand Army and was posted on an exchange program with the Singapore Armed Forces. Hall was inspired by his efforts in survival training and in using video games as a method to train soldiers in the emotional reactions they may face. When he started playing around, Hall stated that he decided to add zombies to a mod and release it publicly to the very same. In 2012, around April, within four months of its release, it reached one million players. That's insane! Especially in 2012, hundreds of thousands of people were just downloading Armor 2 just to play the DayZ mod. Or, I guess what everyone used to say, the Days mod. Because of the popularity, Dean Hall knew he struck gold and he joined Bohemian Interactive and retitles the mod Armor 2 DayZ mod. Almost a year went by and Armor 3 came out in 2013 with the DayZ mod still as popular as ever, but a few months later, DayZ was finally released as a standalone game on the 16th of December 2013 as part of the Steam Early Access program. Now, when we go through each update all the way through to update 121, we'll be covering important items and changes added to the game, but updates like bugs, fixes, and small all items, we'll just skip ahead because, you know, it's going to make this video like 10 years long. Update 0.28 On the 16th of December 2013, Daisy was officially released as the standalone alpha. Now only just two days later, we have another update, a 0.29 update, on the 18th of December, and they added a bunch of fixes like server issues and bugs, but more importantly, food items. Yeah, pretty random actually. Like, you know, meat from animals, cans, and some snacks, but they actually put the ability to force feed players into the game. Now, I always thought this was added a lot later down the line, but I guess it's always been in the game since the start. They also added a new weapon, the Magnum. Then on the same day, they had an update, but it was just some bug fixes for the Magnum. 0.30, the 20th of December, 2013. You can now craft the splint and fix broken limbs, and players who disconnect when unconscious will die. So again, some server fixes and bugs. Skipping past a bunch of fixes, we land on update 0.32. 22nd of January 2014, a brand new year and a huge update only a month later. 
editable character name in main menu, added the hacksaw, the shotgun, players can now collect berries as food, players can create sword off shotguns from obviously the hacksaw they added, which is pretty goddamn cool. I didn't know they added that straight off the bat, but they didn't add the bat. <laughs> Map changes, added spray paint. Now, I believe they took the spray paint out because, uh, again, I don't know what the hell spray paint would be used for. They added a lot of canned drinks like the Pepsi, the Noda Cola, the Sprite, and obviously the famous Kvass drink. They added six new zombie types. They were more stronger, they were more agile, but, you know, they, they were basically just just six new zombies. They added a weapons cleaning kit for keeping your gun in good shape and new clothing items added. Now that, my friend, is a big update. They also added huge bug fixes and like, you know, tweaks, but the list is as long as my arm. We'll be here all day. Update 0.33 on the 5th of February, 2014. Again, only a month later and another huge update, adding improvised courier backpack, the machete, hard hats, motorcycle helmets, small, uncomfortable, but silly, the children's school backpack. <laughs> I never knew the children's backpack was that far back. They added gestures like clapping, pointing, but no, nothing about surrendering or putting your hands up yet. They added the SKS rifle, speed loader, ammunition pile, boxes, you know, everything that goes with the SKS. And uh, yeah, healthcare center now spawns loot, police station spawn loot. So a lot of map changes, which is pretty goddamn cool, but hunger and thirst slightly modified. They were modified the hunger and the thirst so that's pretty cool notifications added to the ui for hydration and high energy different types of military infected now have tougher attack values all right and and more durability okay nice and now more infected spawn around the map so a lot more spawn okay yeah okay whoo and of course a list of huge bugs in server issues found you know there's about 200 on here but mainly to fix certain animations if you point or gesture it would like shake nothing special we could skip past that zero point 34 only two days later they implemented the new mechanic of crafting and repairing clothes which is pretty goddamn cool i did not know they added this that early now they also added cowboy hats and sewing kits which is obviously to repair the clothes which is yeah i did not know they added it this early into the game like the first month of day z they also added the new thumbs up gesture which is pretty goddamn cool now even though they added a few more items i'm pretty sure it was more focused on bug fixes all right all right how many times have i said bug all right <laughs> let's, let's move on moving on to another huge update, 0.42, the 19th of March 2014. Environment, new rock and environmental textures, so it's a pretty big update. They added the Sambucas berry, the, the Cantina berry, or the, the Cania berry. I don't know what that, it, they, they added berries. <laughs> they added the sickle. I did not know the sickle was added to the game that far back. The 1911 engraved version was added, the can opener was added and can now be used as a melee weapon, the green and black variant of firefighter axes added, the flat cap, the rabbit leg, boar steak and chicken breast added so now we've actually got more food for more animals which is pretty goddamn decent, fresh and rotten tomatoes, canned peaches now there's a fair amount of gun attachments which is pretty goddamn cool as well there's been a couple of chapels and churches sprinkled around the map so new map locations police stations and you know that sort of thing they also changed the weather rain clouds wind calculate on server and distributed client rain now causes items and players to become wet moist um, they added new player spawns, which is decent. Damn, that is some big changes. You gotta give it to the devs. They weren't slacking. You can tell that they were working hard fixing the game and like listening to the community for feedback. Oh, and did I mention they fixed a bunch of stuff again? So we're at the 0.44 update, the 23rd of April 2014. Now, they didn't really add a lot of items in this update. It was just like the pickaxe, the binoculars, and the engraved 1911 again. But uh, it was mainly fixes, so yeah, let's just slide past this one. 0.45, the 18th of June 2014, almost halfway to 1.0, and they added the improvised fishing rod using long ashwood stick and rope. You're goddamn right. Now, I think they've actually changed that in the future. But, you know, I mean, at least they added it, right? So you can collect wood from bushes and trees and also search for kindling in woods. You can mine stones from smaller rocks and boulders. You can dig up worms for the fishing rod. You can search for apples. They actually added apple trees to the game? God damn, that's so far back. And you can skin and quarter animals. So a lot of crafting updates, but they brought a lot of new items to the game, like, you know, the improvised backpack, the courier bag made of fur, recipes added, road flares, fishing hooks, high capacity vest, the Longhorn Pistol, the AKM Buttstocks, the AKM Magazines, you know, I, it's, I guess it's just 
it's just all for the AKM. <laughs> and they added a lot of loot spawns, which is pretty goddamn decent. Fireplace kit added. God damn, they added the fireplace kit this, this far back? That's, that's insane. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. We're learning so much. Now, it says here that they've also added arrows and quills. Now, if you don't know, there was a bow in DayZ. You could actually craft, like, a makeshift bow. There wasn't, like, a compound bow you could find or anything like that. But it was a- you could make a bow in DayZ. Can, can we just- can you ask them to bring that back? That would be so cool. I mean, there would be a lot of fresh ones running around with bows. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I mean, we're just, like, one step away from rust. They added a lot more cities and villages sprinkled around the, uh, the original first map they added new game sounds like footstep sounds which is really cool they added the p1 pistol the akm obviously and the m4a ones they can only be found in helicopter crash sites it may change and i think it has changed i mean i'll say it again these devs are going for it god damn Update 0.46 on the 2nd of July 2014. They added a ton of map changes including spawns and item spawns. Okay, so the weapons they added was the 7RND 1911 magazine. Okay, kitchen knives and hacksaws can now be equipped on your back. I mean, I don't think you can do that anymore. It seems kind of wood without having a backpack, but okay, I'll let that one slide. <laughs> Flashbang grenades, hand grenades, lots of other like changes in this update. Crafter mechanics, clothing, weather fixes, stuff like that. Yeah, so they fixed a lot of the weather. Uh, a lot, a lot to do with rain. All right, I like it moist. <laughs> I guess going back, they added, they added the grenades and flashbangs in like the 0.46, which is not too late. But I would have thought they would have put that, you know. Fairly more early, but I guess not. 0.47, 30th of July, 2014. It is a big update. Get ready, lads. They brought chem lights, the AK-101, the CR-527 carbine, the Makarov IJ-70, and the PM-73 rack. Again, most fixes. Nothing worth noting, but that is some solid weapons that they brought to the table. Now before we get into the next update, this video was harder than I thought, okay? It took me so long to research and edit, so please, I'm begging you, subscribe, you piece of shit. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next update. Moving on to update 0.49. The 17th of September 2014. A few update fixes later, they added the balaclava, nice, as different versions. The cattle prod, I'm pretty sure the cattle prod's not in there anymore. The firefighter jacket, there's different versions of that. They also done a really good haul over of the player's movement of like, you know, there's a lot of changes to animations. Like, you know, it, it basically, there was game changes to how the player moves and sounds. So uh, yeah, in a good way. We are now at 0.50, the 5th of November 2014. Now again, they just love adding items to this game. They're, they're, they're killing me. <laughs> they added weapons like the AK-74, the AKS-74U. They added more balaclavas, brass knuckles, the Deringa, the firefighter uniform, the firefighter helmet, the firefighter pants, a lot of firefighter stuff. And they even added in this update new animals such as the hen and the goat which is pretty goddamn decent. Even after adding all these items, you think they're done, but they're not. They drastically changed the mechanics and they obviously implemented feathers from the chicken coo, the rain mechanics, loads of map changes. You can now drown. Seems kind of late, but <laughs> what, you couldn't drown before? <laughs> what does that mean? But I guess it's uh, better late than never. Just after in 0.51 on the 3rd of December 2014, this is indeed a juicy update. They added the ghillie suit, one of my favourite suits, but I can never get my hands on it because, uh, yeah, every everyone kills me. <laughs> and the first ever vehicle in DayZ, you got damn right, the V3S was also added in the 0.51 update, which is insane. Because if you think about it, the 0 0.51 is it's not too long ago. I mean, we're on 1.21 now, so, uh, you know, we're almost halfway there, but goddamn. I mean, I thought vehicles were added a lot later in the game, but I guess not. Now, still to this day, I hate vehicles in DayZ. I have the worst luck either glitching and blowing up or just straight up flying thousands of feet in the air where I safely land back to the ground. Um, but by the way, guys, uh... What's your favourite thing to eat, Austin? I think it's spaghetti bolognese. What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> this car is possessed! This car is possessed! No! Ah! 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 Apparently this car is from Harry Potter. Please don't explode. 
I, I think there's a reason why these guys left that car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my advice, stay away from cars. <laughs> After adding so many mechanics and map changes, you think they would take a break, but no, they're not done. 0.52, the 19th of December 2014, just a month later, they added the chainsaw. Now, the chainsaw is not in the game anymore. I can confidently say I've never seen the chainsaw. Pretty sure they took that out, but imagine that, a chainsaw? Maybe it is in the game. You know what, let me know down in the comments, lads. Is the chainsaw still in Daisy 1.21? Crazy. They added the flashlight, another ghillie suit, guts, a handgun silencer, a hunting knife, a longsword, a meat cleaver, the MP5, teddy bear. Oh, that's where the teddy bear was added? The teddy bear was added before the vehicles? Jesus. 0.53 on the 4th of February 2015. God damn. So, these are the new items that they added in this update. A new model for the fireplace, the fireplace with a tripod, nice. The prison, a large prison wall and a small prison wall? Is that for base building? There is not, it's not even base building. They haven't even added that yet. I don't know what that means. Uh, the AK bayonet, the armbands, brooms, canoe paddle, field shovel, the flanged mace, or the flanged, flaged? Like, leave me alone. And a ton of new map changes. We had to update 0.54 on the 25th of February, 2015. The game's been out a good minute, and the fans have shown a lot of love and feedback for the devs. Update after update, they continue to add brand new items, mechanics, and fixes to this game. Now, they did add bows and crossbows to the game like we said before, but they removed them shortly after, so I won't be covering those items. Let me know why they got rid of the bows and crossbows, because there was a crossbow in the game. Anyway, these updates are only a few weeks apart, and these devs are still working a few years later to better the game. You gotta give it to them. So in this update, they added animal lard, armbands, Bone arrows, bone fishing bait, more stuff for fishing, the compass, gun holsters, the MP5 field jacket, natural water pouch, okay, that's weird. Uh, plate carrier, the trumpet. <laughs> what if, why did they add a trumpet? What is this, Russ? The V3S civilian, so um, yeah, they added more vehicles by the looks of it. And of course, loads of new mechanics, map changes, bugs, etc. You gotta give it to these devs. The one thing I've learned researching DayZ and the evolution of it, these devs have put in so much hard work. A lot of love, a lot of respect. Now, moving to 0.60, almost over halfway, the 15th of June 2016, just only a few months later, they have made a huge changes to the car, mechanics and map locations but also a lot of fixes. In 0.60, Daisy is looking and playing pretty decent for its time. In the player base, they were loving it. Now it says here in the 0.60 update, they added the bicycle and the dirt bike. Why in the how did they remove that? That would be so cool. I don't know why we don't have that in the future. Why did they got? Why did they get removed? I would love to see some geared players riding around on bikes, ringing the bells. It, it'll be awesome. What, what do you guys think? Should they bring bicycles back? 1.0, the 17th of January, 2019. We finally made it. Now we've skipped almost three years, and in that time, we've got huge environmental fixes, new mechanics, a handful of new guns. Like they added the grenade launcher, the rocket launcher. You can guess the updates we've been covering that they added, you know, a decent amount of fixes. If you think I've missed any important items, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, there wasn't really worth anything worth noting that I was looking at. It was just mainly, you know, environmental fixes, server issues, and you know, making the game more polished. Oh, and did I mention in the last couple of updates, we was graced with the Santa beard and hat. You got damn right. It took it took point zero to get the Santa and hat. <laughs> So in 1.0, we finally got the chance to build our own bases. This was huge, okay? This was when base building was implemented into day Z. It was gonna need a lot of work because the bugs and glitches were insane, but we saw the direction Daisy was going and we loved it. Oh, and did I mention we have a building guide on the channel? You got damn right, go check it out. <laughs> the base building mechanic was far from perfect, but you know, it was the start of something juicy. Now we're a few years in since the official release of Daisy, and it's, it, the words are getting around that this game's pretty goddamn decent, and you know, it isn't just a mod anymore. There's a lot of popular streamers, I'm not gonna name any names, but you got you guys know who it is. So many thousands of new people to come check out this new Daisy game. Not only was the devs keeping track of the community's feedback, they continued to update the game to this day. 
Update 1.02, the 25th of March 2019, they added the M70 Tundra, the Assault Vest, the Utility Butt Pack, the Plate Carrier Holster and Pouches, the SK5966, the CR527, the Hunt and Scope, the NVGs, basically everything military they added. It was a really cool update. Moving to 1.4, the 26th of June 2019, just a few months later, they added the KA74 with attachments, the KA101 one with attachments, the P187 with attachments, goddamn scope, oh spicy, more grenades types like smokes and flash, new vomit gesture, I don't know why we haven't been able to vomit in the game, why have we not been able to vomit? <laughs> and yeah, you guessed it, a ton of fixes. The 1.05 update on the 28th of August 2019, they added a lot more vehicles and new weapons. They added a new M-Lock pistol, the new Mark II, which is kind of famous. We added a new rifle, the KAS-74U, again with fixes. A new vehicle called the Sarka 120. They also added food poisoning to the game, which is a pretty cool thing, you know, it's getting deep. Tutorial screens on the main menu. Uh, VON, whisper talk, shout, voice levels. So if you talk in game, the zombies are attracted to you, which is pretty goddamn cool. So yeah, after all these updates we've covered, DayZ so far is looking pretty goddamn spicy. Update 1.06 comes around on the 25th of November 2019 and it adds the weapons, the Vega shotgun, the blaze rifle, the BK-43 with the sword off version, spicy. This is the year they added Livonia, you're goddamn right. Now I actually bought Daisy for like £20 with the Livonia DLC included. I'm not really a fan of Livonia too much, I just don't like the rain. Don't get me wrong, the map looks juicy, okay? It looks really well done. I only had like 10 hours on it, I didn't really like it too much. I didn't like the rain, let alone the goddamn bears, wolves, and I just ended up just sticking to other maps like Essica, Janaris, all the OG ones. 1.07 on the 11th of Feb 2020, the start of a new year and they added the repeater carbine, amusement park locations throughout Chinaris. Okay, so that's kind of cool. The amusement park locations that kind of remind me of like Chernobyl didn't get uh, added to this late, which is, uh, yeah, surprising. 1.08, the 29th of July 2020, they added the Sporter 22 and its attachments, the lighter, the frying pan, more cooking mechanics, obviously with the frying pan I'm guessing, and pots and fireplaces. So now there's, uh, yeah, there's more choices of eating, there's more meat. Update 1.9, on the 8th of September 2020, they added the Deagle Pistol with its attachments, the Magnum Revolver again, and the Flagport and Flags, and the NPC Respirator. That's pretty goddamn cool, they added the Deagle Pistol. Um, a lot of fixes and environmental changes, but nothing too crazy. So let's just go ahead and move to the, uh, the next update. Update 1.10. We are getting close now. On the 18th of November 2020, a few days later, they added the M3S truck. Now, I've personally never drove this truck. I've seen it, I've looted it, but I've never drove this truck. Let me, let me know how it plays or what it's like. I haven't really got to experience it that much because did I mention that the vehicles in this game suck? <laughs> Now, they added a bunch of uh, M3S truck wrecks to the map and like spawn locations, obviously with the parts spawning, loads of fixes. But yeah, they mainly just focused on the, uh, the M3S truck that they added. Now, update 1.11, on the 16th of Feb 2021, they added the SVAL rifle. They added 20 rounds magazines, they added textures for the, the, the new truck that they added, the M3S. And uh, yeah, you guessed it, more tweaks and fixes to the game. 1.12, the 20th of April 2021, two months later, they added a variety of small food items like crackers and meat sticks. All right, here we go, lads. They also added the pioneer rifle, the flange knife, the fat, the fat, the flange knife? What the fuck? The fang knife, the cookery knife, the sickle knife. Well, it's not a knife, it's just a sickle. Uh, a farming hoe and a broom. Now, they did remove the sickle, but now they finally added it back. A good few updates later, but at, le at least it's back. Better late than never. Oh, and they also added the farming hoe. <laughs> 1.13 update, the 13th of July 2021. They added the M16A2 rifle, the burst fire mode. Nice, so they've changed the mode on that. They added some new ATOG 6x scopes, 45 rounds and ammo, more magazines and more stuff to do with weapons. Um, and now, wounds treated by unclean rags can get infected, so now we're getting deeper into the mechanics of the game, because before it didn't really matter if you had, you know, infected or dirty rags. 
but now you can get infected. It's just pretty goddamn cool. And they added the uh, codeine, iodine tablets. They've added fever symptoms, uh, influenza. You can get cold. So yeah, so now your player start starts to feel a little bit more human. They also added that the infected are now attracted by smoke grenades, flare guns, fireplaces during nighttime. I always used to say like in the middle of houses. What? They, they weren't attracted to lights or anything. It'd be pretty cool if they could. And I kid you not, the next update, they were attracted to a lot of lights and stuff. So uh, that, that's pretty goddamn cool. New special infected types, the heavy soldier, military officer, the runner, and the heavy police were added to the game. So 1.13 was actually surprisingly a big update. Now, even all the stuff we just listed, you know they've added so many fixes and fixed mechanics and it, the list goes on, okay? We'll be here all day. But these updates just keep getting juicier. Update 1.14, the 29th of September 2021, they added the static and dynamically spawning contaminated areas. You're goddamn right. Contamination disease, exhaustible gas mass filter, the LE mass assault rifle and magazine, the NV, PVS4 scope, new visual effects while wearing specific headgear, I'm guessing that's going to be the gas mask, a yellow variant of the NVC suit, which is the gas mask get up, POX antidote. This is when I started getting back into DayZ on the 1.14 again a little while ago. I mean, what is it, 2021? Yeah, goddamn, we're in 2023 now. But yeah, this is when they added the green gas and those weird events around the map where there was a uh, high tier loot and you had to wear the gas mask to uh, obtain the loot and there was new variants of zombies. It was a really goddamn cool update. It was a pretty solid update, I'm not gonna lie. 1.15 on the 23rd of November 2021, they added new assault rifles, the A1 and the AX assault rifles, the 30 RD AR magazines, okay, the hunter vests, okay, spicy, a couple of weapons and magazines they've added to the game, the UI indicator when being hit, okay, they updated that and brought it into the game, a new female survivor, oh my god, are you telling me there hasn't been a female in this game? <laughs> We're at 1.15. Let me know, lads. Is that, that there was no females in the game? Jesus Christ. Heading to the next update, 1.17 on the 19th of April, 2022. Okay, we're in 2022 now, where they added the CR550 Savannah rifle. Oh, I love that. That's, that's a pretty decent one. And the Longhorn pistol. They added the pitchfork, the craftable bow knife, the cleaver, the meat tendy. I mean, it's the meat tenderizer, but I, I call it the tendy. <laughs> and gas mask filters can now be filled with charcoal tablets. Pretty goddamn cool. And additional sensitivity settings. All right, with the camera and aiming in game. Spicy. New points of interest on Livonia. So they're doing some Livonia map changes. Pretty cool. And they also did some Chinaris map changes. So uh, yeah, map changes all around, I'm guessing. Yeah, map changes. <laughs> they also did a list of uh, bug changes and fixes. So uh, yeah, let's move on to 1.19 in October. 2022 where they added the m1025 multi-purpose vehicle damn they added the new vehicle then i didn't know it was that far back damn time flies by lads jeez the ssg 82 rifle the bk12 shotgun and sword off variant the gps receiver water reflections can now be configured in the graphic settings <laughs> pretty spicy and thrown items now have impact sounds nice I, I remember when it didn't they were just they would be totally silent. New stealth kill variants. Yeah, so a lot. This seems like a lot of car car updates, but it's a pretty cool update. Not too not too bad, but you know, it's not the worst one. Now the next update that was 1.20 was more focused on bug fixes and new cosmetics. The infected AI got a higher focus, as in the zombies in development, but nothing special happened to them. They just got a little bit of an overhaul. Update 1.21. We finally made it, lads, to the last update that Daisy has ever received so far. Now before we get into this update, I've really enjoyed making this evolution video. If you enjoyed the video and you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're new to my thing, don't forget to ring my goddamn ding. It helps me out so much. We just hit 3k subs and we are only 97,000 away from our goal, okay? <laughs> Please subscribe, goddammit. In 1.21, they added the medieval update. They added the crossbow and color variants. 
the crossbow bolts, they added a sword, a mace, the chainmail, the chainmail leggings, so basically the whole chainmail getup, a Norse helm, a chest plate, the medieval boots, the wool gloves with fingerless and colour variants, and feathers. They also made some game updates like game hints in the loading screen, thrown items and moving vehicles now move smoother on higher refresh rate devices. They now have a status icon for mild leg injuries, which is pretty goddamn cool, and the UI brightness can be adjusted in the settings. Alright. This update was called the medieval update, you know? There was swords, chainmail, it's a medieval update. More importantly, we got the goddamn crossbow, lads. We did it. They brought the crossbow back. I mean, this is the first ever spring weapon, I guess, in the game. If you don't count the uh, the bows and that they added before that they removed. I'm really excited for the future updates of DayZ and uh, I can't wait for them to start adding stuff. Can you please let them know to add bicycles? I don't know why, but ever since I've read that they've removed bicycles and that they had bicycles in the game, I'm so annoyed they took them out of the game. I want bicycles, goddammit. Almost 12 years ago, this game started as a simple idea inspired by a dev that had a vision and that vision was indeed Daisy. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was really surprised of how much we learned following the development of the 12 years this game had. You can clearly see a huge difference of the gameplay, graphics and mechanics of this game. I'm so excited for the future updates of DayZ. Let me know down in the comments what you want next in DayZ. Do you want more weapons? Do you want more vehicles? Let me know. And again, if you're new and you're into DayZ content, check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe and ring my ding if you're into my goddamn thing. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay sketchy, lads. Peace.